One thing that's very important to understand when you see my work is to understand that I am a painter and I'm very interested in finding new ways to make painting and new forms for painting. <clears throat> and this is because the tradition of painting is something that interests me, but I do not want to make paintings in the same way that have been made in the past. I, I am trying to find new possibilities for paintings. So uh, something very important is the idea that painting can be physical, <clears throat> that painting is not just about images, it can also be about the world of material, about materiality, and about a relationship between the viewer and the painting, which is not just visual, it is also physical. And a painting can be understood with your body as much as it can with your eyes. So one of my most important ambitions is to give painting a body, a physicality. So when we encounter a work, this gives a, creates a possibility that we can understand it with our body as well. All the, the paintings in this exhibition are a group of works that I made over a number of years while I was working with archaeologists. Uh, so I had established a fantastic working relationship with uh, a professor of archaeology from the University of Oxford who was called Gary Locke. And he would invite me every year to his excavation sites. And now I've been working every year on excavation sites for almost 25 years. Um, so the works that we have in this exhibition are a group of paintings made from a site called Moali Gaia, which is uh, in North Wales. It's an Iron Age hill fort. And from 2013, we would go, I would go every summer for two weeks uh, to work alongside the field archaeologists as they excavated uh, this Iron Age hill fort. Uh, my actual process was to be as direct as I possibly could. My interest was to follow the process of excavation and to see how this made me think about painting in new ways, to connect ideas about time, which of course when you're on an archaeological site, the sense of time is very tangible. So my interest was to connect this sense of time or temporality with material, with materiality, with the actual physical landscape. So in this exhibition, we will not see any pictures of landscape. These are not representations of landscape. These paintings are works that have been made in contact with landscape. They're about how painting can register or relate to landscape without depicting it. Uh, where I come from in North Europe, in, especially in, uh, in Britain, we have a very strong tradition of landscape-based painting. And of course, we have artists like Turner who uh, made works which are about being in the landscape and about uh, the picturesque. Of course, those things are really important to me, but I can't work in the same way. So my effort has always been to, to find new ways to work with uh, the landscape and to, to work in the landscape. Uh, <clears throat> what has really occurred to me as I've continued to do this, <clears throat> to do this work with archeologists is that really my paintings are about places. They're about the quality of specific places. So an archaeological site has very specific uh, physical qualities, the color of the earth, uh, the, the, the markings of the archaeolog archaeological trenches, the features of the excavation. So all those things are 
things that I like to record in my painting in a really direct way as a way of making a contemporary painting about a place. I talk a lot about place. I talk about places where I have worked and I think about places. But one of the things about working with another discipline is it makes you look at your own work from outside. You, you can be a little more objective. So the idea of place has a strong relationship to problems with contemporary painting. So I ask myself the question, where is the place for painting? Where is the place for contemporary painting today? So for me, this is important because it makes me think about the way we encounter a painting. The height of the painting on the wall has to be related to the body in such a way that when a painting is a tall painting, that the bottom is really under, under your knee. So it might sound absurd, but there's no reason why a painting can't be for the attention of your leg as much as it is for your eye. So where the painting goes, how it hangs on the wall, these things are actually very important aspects of the work I'm trying to make. These are not pictures, so they are not hanging on the wall by magic. It is not an image of another world. It is a physical reality, and uh, the way that I present them is to underline that we understand them physically.